hello and welcome to my channel my name is Chris and I'm so excited to have you if this is your first time here you are welcome you're so welcome and if you are a returning visitor guess what you are welcome as well you know how we do it right here we talk about all the interesting stuff if it has to do with love dating and relationships you will find it right here today is no exception we are going to be talking about something very interesting trust me you don't want to miss it and it is science is after your money oh yes you see the streets are so tough nowadays men just like women are looking for where to dig for some gold so if you are a woman who is doing well for herself you need to be sure that your man isn't with you for your money you need to know that he's with you because he truly loves you by the end of this video you have all the signs you need to tell whether or not your man is with you for your money if you haven't subscribed to my channel already come on what are you waiting for please go ahead and subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you're ready for the show, I am ready, so let's dive into it. The first sign that he's after your money is that he's always suggesting items and activities he can't afford. Well, there's nothing wrong with a brother talking about the good things in life, desiring the good things in life, yeah? But if he's always talking about the most expensive stuff when he obviously can't afford them what is he up to he's telling you all of these things so that you'll be able to make them happen yes if he's telling you that he would like to have that expensive item that expensive car that expensive watch or whatever it is or probably he wants to go on that vacation and he obviously doesn't have the money to service it He's only doing that because he wants you to step in. He doesn't want to come out directly and say, hey babe, can you do this for me or can you do that for me? Of course, that would make him look bad, yeah? So he's indirectly giving you all these ideas, talking about these things, hoping that you will get the clue and suggest to help him do them or help him get them, okay? So you need to look out for that sign in particular. If he's always saying he wants this and he wants that, when clearly he doesn't have the means, he doesn't have the money to acquire that item, hmm, it's a sign that he's after your money. He wants you to use your money to do those things for him. So you better wise up. The second sign that he's after your money is that he's always talking about his money problems. Don't get me wrong, a brother could experience financial difficulties every now and then. It's okay, we all do, right? But when he makes it a habit to always talk about his money problems, guess what? He's doing that because he wants you to offer some help. He doesn't want to come out straight to say, hey babe, can you help me with some money? Hey babe, I need money for this. So he feels that the best way to go about it is to always complain about money. Today he's complaining about not having enough money to pay his bills. Tomorrow he's complaining about the need to send some money to his mother. The day after it's about him sending some money to his sister, his brother. There is always one money problem or the other. It's a habit, okay? If he's always, always complaining about money, not having enough money to do stuff, he is doing that, hoping that you will offer to help him out, okay? You see, if a brother needs money, I feel like the best thing to do, at least own it and come out clean and say, hey babe, I need some money. I need some assistance. That's better. At least you're being honest. I mean, why do you have to, you know, go through the corners always complaining about not having enough money? He's doing that because he knows that you have some money to spare. He knows that you have that money in your bank account or somewhere in your bag and he wants you to bring it out, okay? If you're not going to bring it out, he's going to keep complaining about not having enough money to do stuff, hoping that you will offer to help him out, okay? So the next time he begins to complain about not having enough money, telling you about one money problem or the other, just know that he's doing that because... He wants your money. He wants you to bring out your money. He needs some money, okay? That's it. Always complaining about money, always having money problems. That brother is after your money. We're still talking about signs. He's after your money. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, 
please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification so that you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you find this topic interesting, please give the video a thumbs up and drop a comment in the comment section below so I know that you actually did enjoy watching the video. And the third sign that he's after your money is that he always borrows money from you and never pays back. Hold on a minute, okay? <laughs> yes, a brother could have financial troubles, financial challenges every now and then, okay? I get it. There's nothing wrong with borrowing money from people, even from your woman. It's fine. As long as, one, it's not a habit, and two, you always pay back. But if he's always, always borrowing money from you, asking you to lend him some money, and he never pays back, come on. What is that about? He feels that you have so much money to go around. He feels that you have enough money to cater to both of you. So why should he pay back? He doesn't see the need to pay back because he feels that your money is his money. It's our money, okay? So if you're not going to give me our money, I'm going to look for ways to get that money from you. Even if it means telling you to, you know, lend some of it to me. But guess what? I will never pay back. And because you're in love with me, you love me so much, you're dating me, hey, there isn't much you can do about it, okay? So if he's in the habit of always borrowing money from you and then he never pays back, like never, ever, and even when you bring it up, it becomes a problem, he picks a fight, he starts to quarrel just because you're asking him about your own money, that's a clue, all right? It's a red flag that that brother is after your money. Don't let it slide. He's after your money, okay? And the sooner you do something about it, the better for you. Otherwise, you might just wake up one morning and realize that, hey, he's gone with all your money. The fourth sign that he's after your money is that he gets upset when you give other people money. In his head, he's thinking that your money is his money. So when you try to give other people his money, it's a problem because, I mean, if you give other people the money that you're supposed to give to him, What's going to be left for him? What will he have to himself? He's thinking that there isn't enough to go around, so nobody should be taking money from you, except him, of course. So if your man has a problem, if he gets paranoid and nervous and unnecessarily upset when you're trying to help people out, your family and your friends, with some money, that's a sign. Because if he didn't have his eyes on your money, he wouldn't be so concerned. Yes, he would say, hey, uh, he wouldn't want other people to take advantage of you and all of that. But when he's so particular about it and he gets unnecessarily worked up whenever somebody needs financial assistance from you and you want to help them out, think about it. Why is he so bothered? Why? He's bothered because he feels that if you help them out, you won't have enough him okay you won't have anything left to give to him so he would rather be the only one taking from you nobody else is allowed to enjoy your money or take money from you except him okay so if he gets unnecessarily paranoid unnecessarily upset whenever you want to help someone out financially that's a sign that he's indeed after your money the fifth sign that he's after your money is that he has a track record of dating wealthy women okay maybe he has dated one or two wealthy women it's fine but when you take a look at his dating history and he has been with only women that were wealthier than him that's a sign okay it means that if a woman isn't wealthy or she isn't wealthier than him he wouldn't go near her he's always looking for women that are so wealthy so that he can get some money from them so he can take some money from them and obviously you're wealthy that's why he's with you you're just like every other woman that he has been with okay you have money and he's here to grab your money and he's not going to stop until he does it okay he's going to look for every opportunity to take money from you if his history shows that he has been with only very wealthy women it's a sign that he's only after their money and you're just one of those women as far as he is concerned. We've been talking about signs he's after your money. The streets are tough. Gone are the days when men took pride in catering to their women. Nowadays, some men are after women that would take care of them, okay? As a woman, if you feel like catering to your man and, you know, picking up his bills, it's fine. It's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but you don't want anybody to 
use you okay if you're going to do it let it be that you're doing it because you want to not that somebody is trying to act all smart all right i did a video titled why smart and successful women end up with losers you can find the video right here trust me you don't want to miss that video okay it has lots of nuggets lots of wisdom if you watch that video you have a better understanding of why smart and successful women end up with losers if you haven't subscribed to my channel come on what are you waiting for please go ahead and subscribe support a brother and turn on the notification so that you would be notified whenever i upload a new video my name is chris once again it was nice talking to you in this video See you in the next one.